Hello everybody, welcome back to On the Bright Side. My name is Daniel, and I'm watching the finale of Blue Eye Samurai. I am very excited for this episode because we've finally will hopefully fulfill what I've been saying since like episode three. We're killing Fowler! <laughs> At least that that that's our goal. If it doesn't happen this episode, I will kill him myself. Yeah, but last time on Blue Eye Samurai, we got to see Akemi in the Shogunate having a bad time. Then, then kind of like realizing that her husband's not that bad, and then and then turning it it around and and hiring the the prostitutes from Kaji. Then um, immediately finding out that her dad is uh the fucking waiting for Fowler to take over so that she can have a position of power. So she has been used all this time. Awesome. Mizu's going to Edo to kill Fowler. Taigen's going to Edo to save Akemi. Everything is going down, and this episode, kind of a spoiler title, I guess if you know, is called The Great Fire of 1657, which is a real event that happened, uh, in which most of Edo burns to the ground. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna see how that happens, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I've been excited for this all week, and if you guys have enjoyed my Blue Eye Samurai reactions, then you should do yourself a favor by subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss what's next. I'm planning to do some more Western animation soon. If you like Blue Eye Samurai, you might be interested in the stuff that's coming next. So be sure to stick around. But let's begin on this final episode in three. Two, one, go. I'm sorry, I'm a monster. immediately afterwards, when she thought her mom I died. I just mama. I swear it. I swear it. And she never, she never gave up on that. Master? Oh God. He'll be here soon. The aspect ratio. Fowler. <laughs> We're getting cinematic. Tell me why, but just using like a tighter aspect ratio it just makes everything look so much more cinematic make sure we can get through wait till i see akimi and take her far from the castle do not die if you get caught by swordsmen the falcons die oh what is that <laughs> but what if they kill the shogun shogun ito allowed white men into japan for his own gain against his own laws he deserves whatever comes well if i don't i failed or I'm dead. Which would mean you also don't failed. Don't be silly, man. You can't die. <laughs> you don't know how. Well, maybe we're about to learn. <laughs> All right. Aw, oh, shit. Good, good color for this. It's fire time. I also like how this is like the first time that we're actually seeing spring in this Long entire show. These father dumps on us. Very good. The dumpling is served. Hello, dumpling here. Money! I thought yum, yum, yum. I found the right gift for your father this pilgrimage. Dispense with metaphor and just bring the thing itself. If your father <laughs> thinks of me and thinks of the gold I bring, here it is. Here I am. I made your father <laughs> the second richest man in the world. The Shogun th thanks you. D -d 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 yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I don't suppose <laughs> this year I might be allowed to meet the man in person. No, face never. Face to face. Of course not. Be difficult. It's so pretty now. Ah, uh, oh, love cherry blossoms. One more gift, if you'll permit. Uh oh. Carved from rhinoceros horn. Ooh, bubter flies. I mean Jesus. Okay. An auspicious sign. Blessings conferred over the Council of Elders. <laughs> I'd sooner believe you a ghost than still alive. I take oh, it hello! <laughs> castle and ran. Nor would the castle guards want to find a man in the women's quarters. I uh -huh. followed I that. <laughs> I believe he's it'll, it'll never not be funny. Shogunet today. Yeah. He'll kill yeah. everyone in the Edo clan. Yeah. Take your girls and run. Seriously. 
Get out of here if you know it's good for you. When the gunfire starts. You should eat. Uh, maybe fuck you. How about that? <laughs> you used to look at me with admiration. Well? You plan to have my husband killed. Once the Shogun and his loyalists are dead, you're free. You breathed your first breath because of me. Uh, and you breathe now because I allow it. That's overrated. Breathing kind of mid, honestly. Mid. That fat white pig thinks I'll be his compliant little puppet. Once I get rid of him, I all of think Japan he'll probably kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Seki. Akemi is coming with me. All right. If she, my is. guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did what I thought was best for you. And it was never for me to decide. Character Can development. Forgive me, child. <laughs> I'll kill you myself. You breathe now. Because I allow it. That that was good. I like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who released Lady Akemi? We're gonna need some more people to come help us. Yep. <laughs> I knew some shit like that was gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah, you're not, you're not beating her with that. Hi, I came back. I know you hate me. Your friend? He is not my friend. Do you still want your freedom? Ringo's waiting for you at the sewer. Yeah. Your escape plan is Ringo? Yes! Do you doubt? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ringo, be careful. Ooh, nice one. Y you know, hitting someone with a <laughs> big heavy hit hammer usually works. Hey, I knew Tygen was gonna be dressed up as one of the. I wish I said it earlier. I came to warn him of Fowler's insurgents. I told the head of the castle guard I saw the white man's army encamped outside Edo. He just said there are no white men in Japan. Ah, there's no war inside the walls of Bossing Se, huh? Castle, maybe together. We can get near enough to warn him before we die. Say you want it to be great. The gods are giving you that chance. I mean, now, Tygen's very persuasive. What do you do but when you get exactly what you prayed for? I was going to say he's not going to abandon this post, but... Uh... What would Master do? Mizu? Mizu is the least careful, least tactical, most infuriating man I've ever met. <laughs> we know. Yes. But what would he do? <laughs> He's so stupid, he'd go straight through the front door. Then that's what we'll do. I, I mean, it's the last thing they'd expect. The Mizu fan club over here. <laughs> oh god. He's an odious creature, even for a white man. I agree, as a white man. <laughs> oh shit. Well. But let me warn the Shogun first. His life is in danger. Abijah Fowler is coming with an army armed with guns. Yeah, you don't want Please. good you don't want guns. Only look Trust me. I'm gonna need a Kemi to just swoop in and just boop. Fowler said, I wanna see that man decapitated. I don't know what to say. <laughs> we don't have long. Yeah, we don't have long. Why are we stopping? Money. Nice. With this, you can go anywhere, live any life you want, with Tyen, yeah. oh. without. We have to get out of here will first, never though. Never again be anyone's choice. I appreciate it, Saki. Uh, good man, good man, but. The farm we grew up on in Kokura, on the hill. Yeah, but we gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever not look just like he sucks? I don't, I don't know. Do not make me meet my enemy. They won't reach the first gate. We'll see. Thank you. Man a sword. He stays at my side. All right. And he stays at mine. I appreciate that's a that's a bro move right there. You'll be safe in here. Will we? So you banged my girl. <laughs> you were the second son. Where is your wife? I don't. No. Don't worry, she'll be, she'll be fine, Tygen. Ringo will be there waiting to take you out of the city. <laughs> no, Stop he won't. Nothing. Tygen is searching for you. He believes he loves you very much. <laughs> he believes. He's not a good man. 
Eh, he could he's be aight. a great one. Oh, these poor samurai. No you, one's breached these walls in 400 years. You don't want the guns. Here's as good as anywhere. Fire, please. Don't hit me. Yeah, guy, get out of the way. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, it's just, it's just such a difference in power. Yeah, nope, nope. The arrows didn't even reach. I... <laughs> Were guns at this time really that accurate, though? I mean, not like... Bow and arrows were any more accurate, but yeah, you tore through the first gate like paper. And now you got a paper wall in front of you. Yeah, you, you, come on, guys. Rocks, rocks. We really are fucked. Oh Is the God. final gate secure? Even if they get close, they'll never push through. What if I unlock it? Dang. Heiji Shindo has completely been like, yeah, I'm not winning against this. So if you can't beat him, join him. Even though you you, you really want to kill him. Oh, he's just watching like Batman. Fall of an empire. I also don't know if under an hour. how reload works back in the back in these the days. I thought it was it comes would take much longer. Not fair, but here we are. Mises really got to choose her moment for this. Didn't I kill you? No. Try harder next time. Stop. You want it to preserve a beautiful heritage from a changing world to be let be in strict <laughs> isolation. What's the harm in a little tread? A small <laughs> crack in the wall. I mean, they did do that. All that vision, you couldn't see how little space a bullet needs. My new Shogun will break open your welded borders. Well, I know you guys don't do that. So, <laughs> historically. You think I fear death? I will die with honor. That's not how it's gonna work. Oh, no. They need to see it. Your humiliation. That's how they'll know. There's that. So what's gonna happen? Yep! Incoming! Ugh. Wish you could've took his hand off. Hi! You thought you killed me too? <laughs> Guys, I'm not doing a very good job at shooting. You were nice! To wait outside. Nice job! <laughs> oh, I want to see him mad so bad. I want to see his plans foiled. What are you going to do? You're not going to find Akemi. You helping Mizu would be really, really good. <laughs> Hi. Remember when you tortured me? He will kill you. With a sword. <laughs> Entirely fair. Very brutal. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta deal with this now. Ugh. Hello. Thanks for the help. Two on one though. I like these odds. Okay, very good. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's gonna use underhanded tactics for this. Yeah, don't, don't stab! <laughs> oh my god. Stop. This isn't your fight. It's your fight. So it's mine. <laughs> once oh my once god. <laughs> listen, find her and run. Honor is meaningless. We're not done yet. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be back. I mean, this is only man two of four. You just keep happening. That's right. You don't know what I've done to reach you. I'm very stuck. 
All right. Mizu started the fire. Got it. <laughs> You're about to see why they call me a demon. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> you have no idea. Well, you guys are gonna want to run. This is not good for you. <laughs> Deserved, honestly. Rest in peace, Edo. But it it was good to see Fowler just having a bad time. Wow, you guys didn't move at all, huh? Yeah, no. When you see big fire. Run! Wait, I can stop this. Uh, how? We can trap them inside. We can okay. <laughs> I just close the gates. If you're a soldier trying to escape, you're all like, "Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, hey!" Ooh, yeah. Saki. Uh. Go if you want. Always. Only as you want. Damn it. You're free. Character development before death. <laughs> Always happens. Always gets me. Favorite dream for Japan is the one rule. By you, I raised you. <sighs> He was, he was a real one. <laughs> Jesus, back to this, okay. Owie. My ribs. Tunnels. Lock the gate. The lords are coming. They'll be trapped. They saw your father die. They saw his shame. They should have opened their stomachs when they had the chance. Damn. Very cold. Kill me. You guys are reunited. No. He wanted me to be free. Let's let's okay. get out of here. He was right. I don't care about any of this anymore. I, I just want to be a man. With you. We could be happy. Seki didn't tell me to run. He told me to do what I want. But what do you want? We should stay. Stay? Okay. I don't need to be great. I want to be great. Well, there you go. <laughs> Would love a tiger and was all like, okay, I could be great. I could be great. Come on, master. Ah, my other ribs. Your bones break like a woman's. Oh, yeah, about that. It's never not funny. <laughs> oh, you just keep getting better. I know, she's great. Little miss. Okay, explain. Oh, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have did that. Oh. Oh. You're gonna explain, or you're gonna die. Biggest city in the world is burning to the ground. In the world? Blood sacrificed to is that true? Revenge. That's your white half showing. <laughs> Where are the other two? Oh, so you can kill all four of your maybe fathers? That's right, Tell you me. got the plot synopsis. <laughs> They're hidden. Past even your pretty eyes. I found you. We lived loud. <laughs> You'll never find Skeffington alone. Well, that, that's a name. Tall, Thank you. Like him. Or Routley with his pretty eyes. Skeffington. Routley. I can work with that. Were the ones that <laughs> don't you want to know which one tried to burn you alive as a baby? I kind of find it hard which to believe that they're mother? that much worse than you. I saw my mother die. That wasn't your mother. That was your maid paid mm. to keep you hidden which if I true did till the big ran out <laughs> you want to find them you need me Alive. please don't because i know another word you don't know london okay well that that's a good that's a pretty good word well now i know the word can i kill you now i don't, <laughs> uh, I don't want him alive Please. I know I said I love to hate him, but I'm kind of getting just everyone. more on the hating him side. We will not indulge any influence of the West. I thank heaven for her safety. So she is back here. 
How grateful we are your father lived. Are his wounds severe? Did he? God damn it. He only needs time for quiet recovery. Everyone I wanted dead is alive? Under my care. And Seki's dead? Alright. Well, it's okay. At least we're, she's gonna use that. Master didn't come back. What do you think? Drop some more wisdom on us, please. We can wait forever. Or... Oh. We can work. If she comes back for a sword, then she comes back. I I I hate that he's that we're keeping him alive. Oh shit! <laughs> where are we are where are we going? Let her hair let her bangs grow out. Are we really going to England? That's a long way away. Uh, okay. Cool art. All right. That was the finale of Blue Eye Samurai. And, I mean, I have many thoughts. I've known for a long time that they're planning a season two, so this wasn't going to be a one and done thing, but... It's very funny that I got so fixated on, at the beginning of every episode, of like, this episode, we're killing Fowler, and then it never happened. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm not upset by that. I'm just like, oh, good, I'm going to have to put up with him more, huh? <laughs> there, there's a lot to discuss with this episode, and I'm, I'm kind of trying to sort out where to start. Uh, I guess we should talk about plot. Where are the characters at the end of the season? Akemi is staying behind in the Shogunate. She basically has the perfect position to be like a master manipulator at this point, so she's got a powerful husband. Her dad is alive? Actually, thinking about it, he just might not be. She might just be saying that. <laughs> but even if he, if, if he is alive, then he probably is very, very injured, so we can take advantage of that. Taigen, since Akemi has chosen her path, uh, which is Seki's final wish that she gets to choose what she does. Taigen is... He's about. The interesting thing about that is I thought for sure that his story would be more entwined with Mizu. But Mizu, having found out that Fowler has critical information about the two other people, uh, is off to London, I guess. Which was the first city that popped in my head when Fowler was all like, biggest city in the world. And I'm like, is it? Like, actually, at this point, uh, I thought cities were popping off a little bit more <laughs> in other places. There's definitely been bigger cities to Edo before this point in places like Central America. And I mean, Italy right now is kind of going through Renaissance time, which means that civilization should be popping off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I actually don't know if Edo was technically the biggest city at this time, but it could just be like they're not as informed because they don't know. The point is, is that we're keeping Fowler alive because he has critical information and Mizu is on a journey, which is surprising to me because she's leaving every other character behind, which maybe sets up for interesting plots when they reconvene. Like, who knows what Mizu has ahead of her if she's going to a completely new world. The funny thing is, Mizu's hated for being part white in Japan. But if she goes to London, won't people just be all like, uh, she's part Asian? <laughs> just a different flavor of racism, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll see, but that's interesting. That'll be interesting if she actually does encounter that and she'll be like, huh. I didn't expect this. Kind of refreshing. And, and Ringo is back with Swordfather, which is sad, but I guess they're just gonna wait. Shogun's dead. Rip, I guess. Wasn't too shocked by that. It didn't feel too bad. The, the, the best catharsis in this episode was just seeing, like, Fowler be so smug, like, heh <laughs> they were no match for my guns. And then Mizu show up being all like, but you know who is? It's me. It's me, that bitch. And I love seeing him panic, barter for his life, 
I, I just hate that he kind of, like, gets to live, and he gets his wish of getting out of Japan. But, uh, historically, he doesn't. There's no one named Abijah Flower who opens Japan. Hey, hey, that's my country. That does that forcibly. Similar strategy, though, I guess. Commodore Perry, he didn't kill anyone. Right? Probably wasn't a great guy, but... You know, better than Fowler. But I did want to talk a little about, about his historical stuff. Because the fire that happens in this is an actual thing that happened in history. Which is interesting. What this story kind of makes me think of is the anime Vinland Saga. By the way, I've said this before. I don't know how much crossover there is with this show and anime. But, like, if you like this show fucking watch Vinland Saga, you'd love it. It's the same vibe, but also it's it's better. It's better. But but that's a show that's about Vikings, and it has a lot of stuff that is historically accurate. It takes real historical figures and kind of like makes historical fiction using these characters, but there are stuff that ties into real history, which is kind of what I get from from this. Two of the main characters in uh, Finland Saga are Thorfinn and Canute. Which, if you're familiar with any of those, you're probably familiar with Canute, who is a king of the Danes who ruled over ruled over the British Isles for a pretty a pretty solid amount. Of, actually, died pretty young. So, but he was a he was a notable leader because he was one of the most successful in ruling over <laughs> over the UK. Now, it fills in the gaps about what his whole deal was. Like, it makes fiction about it. Like, who he was, because it's so long ago, we can't have, like, an accurate depiction, really. But at the same time, there is a part in the show in which he, like, says something that he actually said, where he talked about, like, I am Canute. The, the ocean listens to my commands. But Vinland Saga takes that that quote and like twists it into a different situation that probably didn't happen. That's like what this show is doing, and I think that that's cool. Yeah, Sokoku at lasts for quite a bit longer, from what I know about it. So hey, America needs to be a thing before <laughs> before it stops. Yeah, at at this point, I guess, um, I didn't know I didn't know guns were like this advanced now it could very well be it's not historically accurate but i'm i thought like 1657 since i'm american you mostly hear about stuff from like the revolutionary war and the civil war and about how a lot of the time guns would just miss like muskets would just miss it would take a long time to reload them because you gotta like get the get the bullet down in there so it was kind of weird to see them, like, reload so fast, at the very least. But also, at the same time, would it have made the show better if <laughs> they did reload like that? I don't know. You know, I, I say all this being, like, I could just be misinformed about how advanced guns were at this time. So, it let me know if this was historically accurate or inaccurate. Doesn't really affect how I view the show. It's just interesting. I guess I wanted to say this, uh, when I initially saw the trailer for this show, I thought I saw a different white man than Fowler. I might have just been misremembering, but I thought for sure I saw someone like, in like a, a western military uniform, step out, have like white hair, and it was in like the forest at night, and I'm like, what is this memory false or did I actually see something like that in the trailer many things about the story has surprised me and and one of the big things is I thought it was going to be much more straightforward as a revenge story as in like I thought we were going to get it done much faster and I thought it was going to be like a season per person we killed and I guess I still went into this thinking that oh we're going to kill Fowler so next season is going to be focused on the next person but we didn't even do that I still think three seasons is probably is probably 
about what they're expecting to tell the story in. Maybe four, but also just enjoyed the action this episode. It wasn't the best episode in terms of action. That was definitely <laughs> the raid on uh, Heiji Shindo's castle or the previous episode where <laughs> Mizu unveiled that she is absolutely cracked with the Naginata. The best episode is still probably the backstory episode. That one just pulled out all the right emotional strings and it had the awesome action sequences. So yeah, that, that one's going to be top top for me this is a good finale it sets up a lot of stuff for the future season i'm i'm trying to think like looking back what have i predicted and i don't think i predicted anything in this show honestly if you watch my other shows you know i'm i'm decent at predicting things i don't not with this show i feel like the only like plot beat that i actually predicted was that mizu's going to realize that she needs uh help in the end unfortunately I guess she just couldn't uh, take anyone with her on her journey. We're going to London. That's still crazy to me. <laughs> I, I mean, it's going to be a whole new world. We're going to probably meet a whole new cast of characters. I'm I'm, I'm here for the next season. When next season comes out, I'm watching it. But yeah, I, I really like Misu's character. Fowler and Ringo and probably AG are the only people who know that she's a woman by the end of this. That's so fucked up that Fowler's just like... Huh, crushing you reminds me of that time that I crushed a woman to death. Oh, I, I want him dead so bad. But yeah, okay, I'll, I'll stop there. But he in fact did not stop there. Hi, editing Daniel here. <laughs> uh, there is some stuff that I feel like is probably worth mentioning that I didn't mention at all. Namely, I didn't talk about Seki's death at all. All? I think the main thing that I would like to discuss is the fact that his last words was saying how his dream was to see a Japan ruled by Akemi. And Akemi, I guess, took that personally. <laughs> because she said, all right, I'll do it. I'll do my best. And that might have been the deciding factor in her figuring out what she wanted to do for herself. But yeah, Seki was a cool character. He was very real, but... At the same time, he went through character development to understand Akemi's point of view. And it's sad that he's our main death. But I'm glad that my prediction about Ringo dying did not come true. Yet. But I do have more to talk about if you want to leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this entire season, what you're hoping for next season. I'll be happy to continue the discussion there. And if you liked my reaction, you can let me know by leaving a like. And you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss. You know, I do anime. Yeah, I'm planning a poll to replace this with a bunch of uh, Western shows. Uh, so if you want to have a say in what kind of adult cartoon, we'll say that uh, I'm going to watch next, then you better subscribe and check my community posts because that's where I post any of these polls. Anyway, I hope that I can make your day better and I hope that you continue to have good days. Until next time, take it easy, everyone. Mm -hmm.